Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I know that a lot of people are mad that it's no longer a Jeep channel, but this is the first mod video for the Corvette. Um, it's actually gonna be three mods today that we're gonna be doing. One, we're going to be lowering the car on the stock bolts. Um, there's a few videos out there about this, but I figured I'd do my own spin on it, show you guys what I'm doing. At the same note I'm doing that, I am also adding a front splitter. I don't know if you can see that there. Um, somebody on Facebook Marketplace had upgraded to a carbon fiber version and they were giving away their regular plastic version. I think it's going to change the look of the front end and since I don't have the front end cameras when I park, it just gives me one more line of defense before smashing the front bumper, which I don't want to do in this. It's not like the Jeep, you can't just climb over things. And then uh, the third mod, let me just turn the camera around and show you what we're doing. Okay, so. Uh, one of the coolest features I think that I liked a lot about the interior is the fact that the screen acts as like a little safe almost. Um, so what I've been keeping in here are my sunglasses, uh, the cleaning kit for the sunglasses, extra magazine for the concealed carry, and it just gets kind of cluttered in there and everything gets lost. So a company came in and they are San Diego Designs. I'm going to have a link for their product. I got this off of Amazon. This is just a little simple shelf that fits in there, something like that. I'm gonna open it up and show you guys what it's about. And it'll actually hold your cell phone in place and, and your sunglasses and everything, just so it doesn't fall around and, and bang in there. But I'll show you that right now. This is a, the third mod from today, if you even wanna call it a mod, but I feel like the Chevy team should have thought of that, put it in there, but yeah. Cool little feature, let me show you how it works. Package, you have this little felt piece that's gonna stick right to the top, and then this is the actual little piece of aluminum it's powder coated nicely it's angled to fit perfectly in there so it's gonna go just like that you don't gotta drill anything you don't gotta just a tight fit and it's really nice now I can store these on top without them falling over I have room for my sunglasses underneath and I'm actually gonna put the felt on it just to make it look nice and it feels just like the factory felt that's in there yeah good mod I think it was 23 or 24 dollars on Amazon. I'll put a link below, you guys can check it out. But so that's the first mod that we're doing to the Corvette, I guess. And stay tuned, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go to my buddy's house with a nice little lift and make life easier. And we're gonna lower the car about an inch and we're gonna add the front splitter. I'm gonna take before and after measurements and pictures, show you guys what it's like. So there you have it, all installed. Sunglasses fit nice and they actually have a lot of room in there. And right behind it, I have the cleaner kit for the sunglasses. I could probably fit a second pair of sunglasses in right before the screen. On top, you can put your cell phone in, or if you had like a iPod or something like that, plug it in right there and, and run it. But yeah, that's nice. Nice little hidden feature. I like it. Good spot. This is what it will look like with this on it. The tape measure just the front splitter is on. Looks great. Let me just show you what we did. These are seven millimeter bolts that go right into the bottom of the stock bumper and this other skid plate here. We drilled out a few holes and rather than using metal rivets we have these plastic ones that are going to be removable and it's holding it on nice and tight gonna take a break take off the front wheel lower the front end and then we'll lower the back see how it sits so this is what it looks like after I believe the front went down three quarters of an inch and the rear went down about an inch. Still has to settle. And then the new splitter, I feel it completes the front bumper a little bit better. Let's see if we can get a better angle on it. I think that looks really good. And it's a line of defense. Since this is the 1LT, does not have the front end cameras. I figured that I would hit that before I hit the front bumper if I crack anything. Let me know what you guys think. As always, guys, thanks for watching. 
I'm Tony, Tmogo116, and this is the channel where I show you everything that I do to the vet. Um, let me know what you guys think I should do next. Um, I'm kicking around the idea. I do want the carbon fiber side skirts for it, like the Z06 or the Grand Sport style with the three quarters. Think about doing that, or I'm thinking more along the lines of long tube headers and an off-road X-pipe. Um, not sure which way I'm going to go yet. Uh, just want to build the car and have fun with it little by little. Let me guys, let me know guys what you think I should do next and how you like this video. Was it helpful to you at all? I know there's a lot of other versions of it. I don't want to go too in depth. Lowering the car was really easy. Adding that little storage bin thing in there was awesome. And yeah, I mean, I think it looks good. The front splitter definitely looks nicer. I'll take some pictures of it tomorrow in the daylight when you can really see it, but I'm really happy with that. It looks like it completed the whole look. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and as always, have a good one.